Hi, I'm Simon from the Red Ferret and maybe you sometimes think to yourself is watching my computer screen any good for my eyes or is watching my iPhone screen good for my eyes? Well, no, it's not really that good for your eyes. But hooray, we're in the 21st century, so there are different solutions for that. For example, you have Flux apps which you can use on your computer screen where they will change the whiteness of the screen, the blue light will change uh, and that way you'll get less blue light because it's especially the blue light which uh, strains your eyes when watching a screen. Also you have a night vision or, or what's it called again? Night switch I think it's called on the iPhone uh, which is used uh, when it's night of course or when it gets dark uh, or when you're going to bed so your eyes don't get strained a lot. Of course for your phone that's all good, that's all okay, it works a little bit, it, it changes the colors, okay, but when you're working on your computer late at night and you have to edit something in Photoshop, you have to edit something in a video, Premiere for example, then you'll get some problems because the colors won't be right. And then we have the other solution, so over here on my head I have the Jins screen and these are these look like regular glasses but maybe you can see it from the reflection I don't know if you can see it that well I can see it over here as you can see in the reflection of these glasses you can see blue light that means that there's a filter in these glasses which block the blue light. So these glasses reflect 25% of blue light you see from your iPhone screens, from your Android screens, from your computer screens. And it works via a coating and substrate. The coating reflects certain wavelengths of blue light and the other wavelengths which the coating can't reflect are absorbed by the substrate. So that way you get uh, the less, the lessest, the less, that way you get as less blue light as possible on your eyes. But why is it even important? Well, when I go to bed, for example, I always watch my iPad screen and I watch uh, YouTube videos, for example. And I feel when I stop watching them that I'm not really tired, that I'm like waking up again because I was tired when brushing my teeth and then suddenly I'm like awake again. But why is that? Well, that's because the blue light, it keeps you up at night and interferes with your cardio, cardio rec Card cardiac rhythm, card cardiac rhythm, yeah, with your mental state during the night. So these glasses are for the day, these are the gin screens, but then we also have these ones, and these look a little weird as you can see, but these have a very significant, significant filter on them, and these are the gins screen night, and these are, as the name said, used for night or, or nighttime use, yeah. So these block blue light for 25% and these block blue light for 60% so that, that's a whole lot more. But as you can see you get a very different experience uh, of colors as you can see. I will put a filter in front of the camera right now to um, show you guys what I'm seeing right now almost. Alright so that was a big explanation on how these things work because I think that you need an explanation in my opinion before you consider buying them and why they are useful but do they actually work and are they useful well i used these for a week they have the right prescriptions in them as well so that's good and i can tell my opinion i think after a week right now so mostly i've used these so these jeans screens the regular jeans screens you can't really see that there's a filter on these but you can't see it when you wear them you all you sometimes see blue light and I have to say there's a very, very little difference. There's a little difference in white colors. If I do this, I can see the difference. It's a little bit more yellow tinted, so there's definitely a filter, but it's not a major difference. I have a job where I edit a lot in Photoshop and in Premiere, and I have to say with these, it doesn't really make a difference. With these, on the other hand, I would not, definitely not recommend these when you are editing, but of course, these are not for editing, these are not for during the day, these are for the night. When you're in bed, for example, when you're watching, or when I'm, for example, watching my iPad movies, and when I use these, after two movies, I get very tired and I fall asleep immediately. So that's a big difference from before I got these. Uh, when I watched YouTube videos, 
I didn't really get tired. I got woken up a little bit more actually, and I couldn't sleep immediately. But now, when after yeah, as I already said, after two movies, I'm like, I'm going to bed now, and I sleep immediately. So I would say yeah, after a week, I would recommend these when you watch a lot of uh, videos, for example, in your bed, or when you watch a lot of movies before you go to sleep. It's important and it's good for your health. And I have to say they work. Um, I had. Uh, a lot of headache when I watched uh, my screen for a long time uh, at work but when I'm using these the headache goes away because the blue light is filtered and the blue light uh, was making my head hurt after a while after a couple of hours I have to say so I had to pause a little bit and then it got better over time but with these I didn't have any headache whatsoever in the last, uh, yeah, last days I wore them, so... Design-wise, these things are fantastic because you have a lot, you have loads of different options, like... I, I had to choose like one hour before I could choose two of them, <clears throat> because there were a lot of options. And, yeah, so design-wise, you, you get to choose your own. You can choose prescriptions as well and you can choose your uh, nose length and stuff so everything uh, falls in place. So I I got these online, I didn't go to a shop for example and these fit perfectly and the pres prescriptions are perfect as well. So yeah, I this is the, the proof that it works when you order these things online. Alright, if you have any questions regarding the Jin's screen and the Jin screen night, let me know in the comment section down below and I'll be very glad to answer them. If you liked this video, leave a like down below. If you didn't, leave a dislike down below. And I hope I'll see you in our next video. Bye bye.